Turns out philosophers have, have thought about this for quite a, quite a while. Uh, one of them is Alvin Goldman, and he has proposed a five-level test for finding a trustworthy expert. I'm going to walk you through the five levels of the test. This is very useful. If you get anything out of this talk, please get this slide, OK? Not as it is now, as it will develop in the next few minutes. <laughs> and then I'll give you uh, an application to a real case, OK? This is truly useful. Uh, you can go home now, from now on, and, and have a, a ready-made tool for determining if you want to trust somebody who claims to be an expert or not. I'm not claiming infallibility to the tool, but I'm claiming that it's much better than what most people normally do. First question, examine the arguments presented by the alleged expert and her rivals. That's great, except that this does run into Socrates' problem. That is, in order to examine the arguments, you actually have to be an expert yourself. If you are, great, right? So if you are an economist, then you should definitely uh, you know, put your own uh, opinion out there about economics, but not about other stuff if you don't understand it. Two, look for evidence of agreement among experts. If there is a consensus among experts, chances are that's your best bet. Now, agreement among experts doesn't mean that the experts never get it wrong. Yes, we all know that 500 years ago, allegedly, Everybody, every expert uh, thought that the, 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 the Earth is, was flat and not round. Actually, that's not true. Astronomers have known that the Earth was round since the ancient Greeks. But setting that, that aside, yes, the experts can be wrong. Even a, even a consensus among experts can be wrong. The question is, yeah, but you, have you got anything better? It's, it's a question of where do you put your money, OK? Where are you going to bring your money when it's a matter of uh, things that actually are important? Three, look for evidence that expert is, in fact, an expert. When you go to your doctor, you notice, I mean, at least in the United States it works this way, you have, they have a lot of diplomas on the wall. And the more diplomas they have, and the more from prestigious universities, the better you feel about the doctor, right? If it turns out that, oh, wow, she's got a diploma from Columbia and then another one from Oxford, it's like, crap, this is good. If it's got a diploma from the University of I don't know what, you're going to say, wait a minute, hold on. Does this woman or man know actually what they're doing? So you, can, you should check for uh, whether the expert is, in fact, an expert. You can do that actually fairly easily these days. You can check up you know, on websites, uh, the background, the publication records, all sorts of stuff. Number four, investigate what sorts of biases the expert may have. Experts are biased because every human being is biased. We all have agendas. We all have interests. We all have opinions. But some opinions and some biases are worse than others. So if your doctor keeps prescribing you the same uh, uh, drug and it turns out that he actually gets money from that particular pharmaceutical company, eh, you might want to ask for a second opinion. Okay. It doesn't mean that that's not a good choice. Because a lot of these drugs actually do work and they do what they're supposed to do. But you should be you know, inquiring into, well, are, what, what, what happens to doctors that don't get money from that uh, pharmaceutical in industry? Do they actually uh, prescribe something else? And number five, check the track record of the expert. I mean, if he's an expert, presumably he was right more time than not. If you, go to, if you have a problem with your uh, car, you go to a mechanic. But if a mechanic keeps giving you back the car and it's not fixed, at some point you're going to say, you know what, I'm going to look for another mechanic. Right? The track record is important. Financial advisors have a horrible track record. <laughs> this is actually established. There's research on this stuff. Uh, okay, they don't do any better than chance in the long run. They may succeed at one point or another, but they don't do many, many, much better than, than, than average, uh, than, than um, random. For more debates, talks, and interviews, subscribe today to the Institute of Art and Ideas at IAI TV.